This is insane how much they're struggling on this one node. Like, I, I knew this... I, I've done this testing before. I've done it again and again and again. But it just... It amazes me. <laughs> After a long day of exploring and capturing pals, you ever come back to your ore farm and just think, wow, that's not a lot of ore. Hi, my name is Renu, and in this video, we're going to get to the bottom of which pals are the best at mining, and the answer may shock you. So, obviously you read the thumbnail and you've seen the title, and yes, it's true. Uh, dig toises are bugged and are actually the worst miners to have on your base. You can see over here that Digtoys is a pretty good miner to have out on the world. Every time he deals damage to the copper ore or the stone, he deals around 20 to 25 damage depending on what he's farming. If I hold his skill, F, you can see he ramps up the damage to 30. This is excellent to have while out on the world. However, once you assign Digtoys, you may notice that he doesn't deal nearly as much damage. So yes, he mines for only one damage per tick. We're going to be testing six different pals in total, and I'm going to show you just how much more worse Digtoys is compared to everyone else. And it just honestly does not make sense. I can't believe it's intended. So this is how every experiment is going to start. We're going to assign the pals during the nighttime, demud for mining and hang use for transporting. There's no ore in the chest. We're going to check the feed box, going to make sure that there are enough food there. There's 620 pancakes. And for each pal, we're going to do two trials. One where we wake up in base and watch them work. And one where we wake up off base and just stay outside, which is more likely to be the case. You're usually out exploring while your pals are automatically farming, right? So we're going to see that there is going to be a difference in production. And now I'm going to climb up here. We're going to observe them and... In the meantime, we're going to speed up the footage on the left and show you things on the right. Um, these are the world settings that I have for this test. I set the daytime speed to five times speed. Now, the only thing that this is going to change is just the scaling of the experiment. Uh, if you do have normal daytime speed, then roughly speaking, you're going to have five times more production or rather five times more uh, ore that you farmed. Gatherable objects respawn interval is going to be set to the lowest possible. This is just so that I don't have to wait so long for my ores to respawn and to help keep the experiment fair. We are going to disable the raid event so we are never interrupted. And the max pals working at base is going to be set to 20, but that's just for my gameplay purposes. It has no bearing on the experiment because we are always going to be assigning uh, six pals. Three pals with mining and three pals with transporting. The transporter is always going to stay the same. It's going to be hang you and the miners in this case is demut. So if you're paying attention, I collected all the ore with my pyron. I'm checking the feed box right now. I have 617 pancakes. This is down from 620. This means they ate about three pancakes. And now I'm going to go ahead and check the box. And I had 56 ore in my pocket earlier. So that's four I collected there and 80 in the box that means they farmed a total of 84 ore and ate three pancakes so again just to reiterate because this is the first two trials i just want to make sure everything's perfectly clear this is going to be the trial where we don't observe them there is no ore in the box and in the feed box i believe there should be around 617 yeah 617 pancakes so we're going to see how much they eat and how much ore they farm while we don't watch them while we are off base while we sleep somewhere else and wake up there and stay there for the entire duration i want to go ahead and emphasize just how ridiculous this is dig toys is the premier miner in every promotion material in all the youtube thumbnails and all the videos that you see about how to make an ore farm and how to farm ore efficiently they say to use dig toys and i'd be telling you the same thing too but it was only until after I swapped out my dig toys for Lucky Anubis because I thought, hey, I have it lucky. I'll be able to get more work speed and more ore production. It was just so much more. What's weird too is that Anubis has a food level of six, which means his max hunger is slightly higher. I'm going to do this in another video, but what higher food levels do is more than just affect the maximum hunger. It also represents a pal's metabolism, since it seems that pals reduce their satiety as a percentage. And we're gonna talk more about food and nutrition in a bit, but for now, we're going to check the results. We're gonna go ahead and get on our pyrin and collect any um, of the ore that was knocked loose from the nodes and not transferred into the box. I collected eight ore there and I believe, yeah, okay, over here we got 15. Now, just wanna check, make sure 
there is nothing in that chest, okay? I filled it up with gold coins. There's no way they could fill it. And we have 27 ore that the Demuds farmed on their own. And for whatever reason, they ate zero pancakes. 617 is the same number from before. Obviously, if you scale this experiment up, you use normal daytime cycle. They will eat some pancakes, but it's a lot less than if you observe them. Start this trial up. There's no ore in the box. We go ahead and check the feed box. There should be 651 pancakes. And in this trial, we're going to be using Tombats. Now, the weird thing about Tombats is that they're nocturnal, which in Power World means apparently they don't sleep at all. And so we had to go to sleep immediately, you'll notice, and we'll do that for the next trial too. And we're going to be uh, watching their performance on this one. And so back to food and nutrition, pals metabolize based off a percentage of their max hunger, and all foods provide a flat value of nutrition. So this means that bigger pals will need bigger and more nutritious food to outperform the pals with less food levels. This makes Demud honestly ideal because no matter what, he is working for longer than the other pals with mining level two but have higher hunger because he's consuming the same amount of nutrition while metabolizing it at a much slower rate, which allows him to work for a lot longer than his other peers that require more food levels. We're gonna resume at normal speed and I'm gonna jump down immediately right now because my pals are about to finish and Tombat will continue working even when it turns to nighttime. So I have to dismiss him immediately as it turns into night just to keep the experiment fair. Tombat, by the way, has a mining level of two and a hunger level of five, which is just one level higher than Demud. So there's not a big difference, but it is still going to be worse as you'll see when we collect the ore. Let's speed it up here again. I'm gonna get on my Pyran. We'll collect all the loose ore. And we should see over here that Tombat farmed a total of 72 ore, which is what we would expect for him to perform a little less than Demud. And let's go ahead and see the feed box. And that is 645 pancakes. That means he ate six pancakes in total. And honestly, I'm a little surprised by this number. Six pancakes is a lot, but the total ore that Tombat farmed is roughly what we would expect. It's a little less than Demud, and that's because of the extra food level. So we're starting up the other trial now. There's no ore in the box. We're going to go ahead and check the feed box. There's no Tombats uh, deployed right now. They would work at night. In the feed box, we should have 645 pancakes. So we're going to deploy the Tombat, head back home, sleep, and stay the entire day there. By the way, unless they say so, all the sped up footage is seven times speed. And one thing I wanted to mention specifically about Tombat in particular, he feels like he depletes his sanity at a much faster rate than other pals. And it has nothing to do with him working day and night. I just observe like during a day cycle, it feels like he gets stressed out really easily. Now, I've looked at Pal Deck. I've looked at other sites where they data mine the pals and have all their stats. I haven't seen a stat for sanity depletion rate, and I haven't done any timing. I haven't done any tests, but let me know in the comments if this is something you've noticed too. Again, we're hopping down a little early here. Just want to make sure that we are getting there in time and are able to dismiss them. I probably should just go over there, but then I would be observing them, right? So this is nighttime now. It's totally nighttime. Our hang yous are sleeping, so I'm going to dismiss the Tombats immediately. Maybe they farmed one or two more ore. And we're going to go around and pick up all the ore and see exactly where does Tombat lie in terms of, uh, you know, not observing him, but still mining. So it looks like they didn't collect too much ore. We're gonna go ahead and check the box. I have three in my bag and that is 26. So 29 in total ore that they've collected, which is a couple more than Demud, which could be accounted for Tombat working a little longer. 643 pancakes in a box. That means they ate two food, which is, you know, which tracks that tracks for sure. But all right, moving on to testing Mamarist. Mamarist is gonna be a little different. So first of all, check the ore, nothing in there. Check the feed box. We got 643 pancakes and let's go ahead and observe Mamarist and we'll talk a little bit about him. Mamarist is a mid game pal. Uh, you can see over here, I am gonna cut the trees. I just wanna make sure that none of the Mamarists are stuck logging. And there just feels like a lot of things working against him. Not only does he have logging and mining, they're both level two, and he also has food level eight, which means again, his metabolism is gonna be a lot faster than a Tombat, and then it's just not for a lot of benefit. 
The partner skill Gaia Crusher says he can be ridden and he improves efficiency of cutting trees and mining ores. But if you wanted a mount that could help you mine, then you would probably just stick with Rush Ore. Rush Ore has a really nice skill called Reckless Charge. You could use this to farm a line of ore. And Dig Toys is also really good, but only, I mean, not in base, but in the world, he is just fine. So we are going to go ahead and check the box here. They farmed 68 ore in total. Uh, there's some fiber in there because I cut down some trees. And 68 ore is going to be 4 off of Tombat, which is not too bad. Uh, I mean, mining level 2, that's what it is. And you have 639 pancakes, that means he ate 4 pancakes in total. So that is Memorous, let's go ahead and do a trial where we don't watch him. We're going to start speeding this up a bit, no ore in the chest. We're going to go ahead and check the feed box, there is 639 pancakes. We'll head back home and we'll start the trial. So what I think you'll see in this result is that Mammoth will farm a lot less ore and I have no idea really why. This could be a mistrial, but Mammoth will farm less ore and it could possibly be because he has logging too and there is a possibility of tree nodes spawning. Now I did go ahead and check later. Um, there is no difference in the amount of wood that was collected, but it's the only reason that makes sense to me. Now, I did not do that much testing with Mamorist outside of this video. Um, for Dig Toys and Demud, I did. That's how this video was inspired. But the purpose, again, of testing all these different pals is just to show you exactly how much worse Dig Toys is compared to every pal. So, we're heading back home. We're collecting all the ore. Now, let's go ahead and check the box. The box should have seven ore. So, that's a lot less than Tom Bad or Demud when they're not being observed. We check the feed box. We have 638 pancakes, so they didn't even eat that much food. You'll see here that I miss an ore right on top of that node. Uh, it was just a split second twice now, and you've seen it. So um, Mamorous, to his credit, did farm eight ore unobserved. That's still really bad, and the only pal you would use Mamorous over would just be Dig Toys. I'm going to go ahead and skip the Anubis trial and just spoil you the result. He performs pretty much exactly the same as Reptyro over here. And Reptyro is still a very good pal to keep in this video because he has mining level 3 and Dig Toys does. No ore in the box. We go ahead and check the feed box. There are 680 pancakes within it. And so the reason why I'm skipping Anubis is because the video is starting to get long. Reptyro is a great pal to have. I think he's even better farming in the overworld uh, as a saddle. But look at the damage he's dealing. He's doing like 39, 40 damage. He, alongside Anubis, don't really have long animations. And I think that has a lot to do with why Dig Toys is so bad. Is because he spends so much time spinning. And he definitely doesn't deal as much damage as a Reptyro or Anubis. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's pretty comparable to a Demud. But even for results, as you'll see a lot later, he's not even, he's not even close. Not even to a Demud, which is really embarrassing and also just really weird. Why would you have this pal whose only job is to mine? He is level 3 in it, and he's just the worst pal for it. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. So you have 676 pancakes here. That means he ate 4 pancakes, right? And we see here... He farmed quite a bit. He farmed 103 ore, so that's mining level 3 for you. That's what a mining level 3 pal should do for you. Again, spoiling it, Anubis does the exact same. He did 101 in my trial, and he ate about 3 pancakes instead of 4. Now, I'm not too sure if it's because my Anubis are lucky. All of them are lucky because I bred them. By the way, you could easily get Anubis by breeding Mamorist and Bronze Cherry together. But yeah, the only difference is 10 work speed. Everyone else has traits that don't affect their hunger, their sanity, nothing like that, so everything should be roughly the same. So once again, starting up the trial, no ore in the box, it's all in my pocket, I'll take it back home, and in the feed box, there is 676 pancakes, let's go ahead and speed everything up, go back home, and I am going to do a little farming here, I actually haven't been able to play that much Power World, like, I am in the game here, I'm making this video, but I haven't been able to progress or actually play because I am busy making videos here, so... I mean, I'm looking forward to getting back into the game. I think after I make my food and satiety video, I'll get back to progressing through the game live. I still haven't found quartz. I still have a lot of things to do, a lot of islands to explore. I think uh, the Frost Mountain Island is something I haven't really looked into. Still have a lot of bosses to fight. So I'm looking forward to getting back into the actual game. 
If you want to catch me live, I stream simultaneously on YouTube and on Twitch. And yeah, I, I think after this video or after the next video, I'll probably be looking into um, just progressing. So by the way, just to compare, Anubis did farm 39 ore without observation. And over here, we see Reptyro farmed 11, which is a lot less. Could be a mistrial. Definitely think you should test it out yourself. Uh, the food, he only ate one pancake. So overall, 11 ore farmed, one pancake eaten. Let's move on to why we came here. How does Dig Toys perform in comparison? So the moment of truth. We are going to first observe Dig Toys, okay? And we have the three hang yous, we have three Dig Toys, and we are going to check the box here. Box has no ore within it. We go ahead and check the feed box. There is 675 pancakes. So let's go ahead and see how well Dig Toys performs. And when I found this, I was definitely very disappointed in myself. I mean, in all the promotional material, Dig Toys is the miner, the premier miner. Dig Toys' only work suitability is mining. And for him to just struggle, a team of three struggle to take down this node, we're going to cut into um, me just talking here in like just a bit because I was just shocked. I was amazed. That's why, like, everything before this, everything leading up to this was worth it because it's, they're just so bad. And notice the hang -yous <laughs> don't really have that much to do. <laughs> oh my god, they're horrible. It's taking them forever to kill this one node. That's insane. By the way, uh, if you guys are wondering, I do have Dig Toys' headband. This item, by the way, just makes it so that he's more efficient when farming in the overworld, just then. Like, this is insane how much they're struggling on this one node. What the heck? Like, I, I knew this... I, I've done this testing before. I've done it again and again and again. But it just... It amazes me. <laughs> just seeing them do this... At the very end of all of these trials, like, wow, that is insanely bad. There's no way that's working as intended. There is absolutely no way. I'm gonna, we're gonna look at the ore. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like, maybe like 30, maybe 40. I don't even know. I have no ore in my pocket. Hold on, I'm pausing the video I'm watching in the background. Oopsie, sorry, my bad. Damn, Pyron was not having it. Okay, there are no- I mean, obviously, the only ore they've hit was this one. So... 658 pancakes. I, I, I forget how much they ate, but... 32 ore. That is 32 ore right there. That is... That is insane. That is insane how bad that is. And by the way, cutting in again, um... They ate 8 pancakes. They ate 8 of them. And they have a food level of 5. Which doesn't make any... That means they're expending so much stamina doing that weird spinning animation for no benefit whatsoever. Usually I have to wait like a day for the ores to respawn. I don't have to do that today. <laughs> I don't have to do that this day. They will definitely not farm anything when I'm not watching them. So yeah, Dig Toys is, you could take a look at their, their stats. There's nothing that, there's nothing. There's no bad trait here. There's no good trait. There's no bad trait. They all have 70 work speed. They should not be this bad. They should be comparable to uh, Anubis and Reptiro because he has a mining efficiency of three. All right, so no ore in the box. Check the feed box. There are 658 pancakes. And let's go ahead and start this up again. We are not going to watch them. And I think this one will shock you, especially. Now, keep in mind again, the daytime cycle is set to five times speed. I did do normal testing. I did do testing with normal day cycles, and that's what led me to even do this. That's what led me to look at all the pals and just see, like, what is it? 
are they individually statted? Is, is it are they like is there that much of a difference from pal to pal? And the answer is not really. Like Anubis and Reptyro are roughly the same. Demud, Tombat, Mamorist, they only really differ in food levels, and it makes sense. Like Demud's the best, Tombat is second, and Mamorist is third by a pretty fair margin. But this Dictoys, there's no reason for Dictoys to be this bad. All right, so here we are. We're going to yeah. no ore in the pocket. We're going to check if there's any ore left over. Looks like they did absolutely nothing. They did nothing at all. But let's go ahead and check the feed box. Um, 652 pancakes. I don't know how much there was before, but... Wow. Nothing. No ore. Now, of course, that doesn't mean they'll never farm ore. If you did have a normal day cycle, they actually do farm like a handful of ore. By the way, they ate six pancakes. They ate six pancakes for absolutely zero work, which is really crazy. That's that's the weirdest thing. Is like they ate so much to do so little. <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Red Noob. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you enjoyed the content, you learned something new. I definitely learned to never use Dick Toys for version 0.1.3 or until they, you know, until they address it. Pocket Pair, please fix. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.